Archbishop, our uh, year Archdiocese at the Ma, a year Cape Coast, uh, most reverend a year Charles Palmer Bako, what the Ababa Tuja actually said, a banner Abako Sempa, dear, a year, yeah, and can even penny John Rollins, and they went in the Baby Corner. Now, just say, uh, what team are you be pa at the Ama, a year of Bain Ghana? Now, what share Uri and Ankasa Moon or Bao Bro Baby D, a year man penny, uh, at the Baby C, a year, and then not just any Juma who do one, and it's in any super. And the second, as you say, Jim Deer, for a can kind of a shed which was here. I will yet on my gun and watch us here. A ban on my gun, a crumple moon, so on mine, and that's so I couldn't even know. Yes, it would be contributed, Cassia Pa, and more my gun and punzu. The impact that the former president, J. John Rawlings, has had on this country and on the history of this country cannot be fathomed. For many of those who were born in and around the 1970s, up to date, he is on was about the only image of a leadership they knew. We cannot in any way at all erase the impact he has made on this country. And I think what I would rather have us dwell on is how he started the fourth republic democratic dispensation in our country and he has been there larger than life size all through till when he died an era has come to an end we have to admit that an era has come to an end History will definitely vindicate what he has contributed to this country. And we will definitely miss him. He was an iconic figure. He was a larger than life size. Those of us who knew him personally would tell you that he would leave us with something, three words we should never forget. Transparency probity and accountability. Those are the three foundational words that Jerry always talked about, insisted upon. And I think the greatest legacy, the greatest monument we Ghanaians can build to his name would be to really work hard for this country to grow in transparency to grow in probity and in accountability.